Hello and hello everyone. In today's video, I'll be showing you guys how to make fresh tofu. Um, a lot of you have requested me to show you how to make fresh tofu, so I wanted to show you how I grew up eating it, how my mom made it when we were a kid, and how she still makes it today. Today's version will be using lemon juice to make the tofu curds because you know you can find lemon juice anywhere. If I was in Thailand right now with my grandma, they would actually be using tamarind juice to make the tofu curds, but since I'm in the U.S. right now, um, it's convenient to find lemons and use lemons to make the tofu curds, which is really nice. So I'll show you guys how to make it today. It's qu actually quite simple to make tofu uh, at home as long as you have all the right equipments to do it and it's very delicious because you can actually control the firmness of the tofu which is really nice. So I hope you guys give this a try and do let me know what you guys like to eat with tofu or how you like to cook tofu. It's gonna be a pretty simple video so let's go ahead and start making some fresh tofu for you guys to see let's go okay so the first thing I want to do is soak the soybeans so I have a pretty big bowl here I'm doing quite a lot so I'm gonna be using three pounds of soybeans um, I'm using this one today this is a 16 ounce bag so three bags of this which makes up three pounds and going to pour this into a bowl Make sure you have a big enough bowl to actually soak up the soybeans because they will double in size. And we're going to go ahead and pour some cold water in here. Alright, so we're just going to pour just enough water to cover the soybeans. Because so, they will bloom overnight and get double in size. Um, go ahead and cover it with the lid and then tomorrow we can go ahead and blend it and start making the tofu Okay, so it's been about 24 hours of soaking in the water Just a reminder within like a four hour to six hours of soaking Just make sure you go back and check to see if the water level is high enough If not just add more water in there so that you can actually soak it some more So just keep an eye on the water, but other than that it double in size you guys can see it's nicely soaked We're gonna go ahead and rinse this a few times and then if you see any bad soybeans that are brown or red, you can go ahead and discard it and then we can start blending this up. Okay, I got my strainer here. I'm gonna go ahead and strain the soybeans. Okay, I'm just gonna go ahead and rinse this a few times just to get any impurities out and if you guys want you can also go ahead and pick out any bad soybeans that you can see all right so these are nice and washed let's go ahead and start blending this with some water so i have my blender here we can go ahead and start blending the actual soybeans so i'm just going to go ahead and blend this with water so the total amount of water that i'm going to be using is about five liters of water total to blend all of the soybeans so at this point, I'm going to go ahead and add in some soybeans, just enough for me to blend it. Maybe around like three cups or so per blending. And then with the water that I already measured out, which is about five liters, I have it all in a pot and I, I'm just going to add as much as I can to fill it, to blend it. And we're just going to use up all of that water and use up all of this soybean. Let's go ahead and add in the water. Just enough to blend it, don't overfill it. Go ahead and close this up and then we'll start blending. Okay, so I blended this, still a little chunky, but that's okay. We just wanna go ahead and blend it enough so that you can get a milky color to it. And this is it. We'll go ahead and strain this and then continue blending all of the soybeans. Okay, once the soybeans are blended, I have a mesh 
cloth here over a strainer and the strainer is over the pot that I'm going to be cooking the actual soy milk in. So if you have that ready next to you while you um, blend the soybeans, it's very convenient. Um, if you guys don't have a mesh cloth, you can also use like a cheesecloth. Make sure it's big enough for you to hold uh, the soybean parade. If you guys make a smaller batch, it's going to be a lot simpler. You don't need a big strainer or a big colander and all that stuff. But since I'm making a pretty big batch today, I'm using my pretty wide and big cloth here to strain the soy milk out. So let's go ahead and pour that in there. And I'm just gonna let this sit and strain out while I go and continue blending the rest of the soybeans. Okay, so since my colander is kind of small and also I don't have a lot of willpower to squeeze all the soy milk out, um, every three cycles of blending, I will go ahead and take my cloth here, kind of fold it out, and then squeeze out the excess soy milk. And then um, I'll go ahead and discard the pulp and continue blending the rest in there. This way I have more room and power to actually squeeze out any of the excess soy milk. All right, so I'm gonna continue pressing all this soy milk out. And then if you guys want, you can keep the pulp and use it for other recipes. There's a lot of recipes that uses the actual soybean blended soybean pulp um, and they make great recipes with it. Also, if you guys have any animals or pigs like that, it's also commonly um, used to feed pigs as well. So, which is pretty nice. So, I'll see you guys when the soy milk is done. Alright, so I finished blending and straining them. You can see it's a little bit frothy. You can just can go ahead and skim off the froth and throw it away. And then what you get is a really nice thick soy milk. So at this point, what we're going to do now is we're going to cook it and let it come to a boil and then we'll add in the lemon juice and then you get to see how tofu is made. Rather than that, this is what we get. Okay, so before I start boiling this, I'm going to go ahead and strain it again just in case I have any chunks that I didn't want in there. Okay, so that's good. Let's go ahead and start cooking it. Okay, so I transfer this onto my stove top and about medium heat, you just want to cook this until it comes to a nice simmer and nice boil, but make sure you keep an eye on it. You make sure you come and stir it once in a while because the soy milk has protein in there and the protein would actually settle to the bottom and it can burn on the bottom. So just make sure you come and stir it as you do this. So I'm cooking this on medium heat and uh, you know, just keep stirring as you go until you get to a good simmer and boil it for a good one or two minutes and then we'll add in the lemon juice. All right, so this has been cooking for a good 25 minutes or so. I've been stirring it so that it doesn't get burnt on the bottom. But once you start seeing it steam and bubble on the top, it starts boiling. Um, let it simmer for a good five minutes so that you don't um, have that raw soybean taste. You want to cook out that raw soybean taste to it. At this point, this is basically drinkable soy milk that you can actually drink. You can add sugar to it and then drink it up like that or just drink it up like this. So let's go and turn off the heat. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to strain this again into a different pot because I don't want any chunks in there. But again, straining is optional if you feel like a... Uh, if you feel like it's nice and smooth on the bottom of your pan, it's fine. I'm going to strain this though. Okay, let's go ahead and strain the hot soy milk here. The reason why I strain it, just in case I get any of those bits in there I don't want. Okay, so at this point, we can start making the actual tofu. So the acid that I'm going to be using is fresh lemon juice here. I have about a half a cup of fresh lemon juice that we squeezed, um, which was like pretty much three pretty big lemons. But this is about four ounces or half a cup of fresh lemon juice here. And all I'm going to do is add about a cup of water in there. The water helps it so it's not so um, sour and acidity and it helps blend well with the actual tofu soy milk here. 
So what we're going to do now is we're actually going to add in the lemon juice. So you're going to add all that in there, stir it just a little bit, and then let that curl. You guys can see it curled up. So we're going to let this sit for a good 15 or 20 minutes to allow the lemon juice to actually curd up the actual soy milk. Okay, so it's been about 20 minutes of just letting this sit. And you guys can see it's so thick already. The curds are nice and formed with the lemon juice, which is nice. So at this point, we can go ahead and strain it and put it through a strainer and put uh, some weights on it to form it into tofu chunks. So cool. You can see the soybeans curd up to be like this. Okay, so the strainer I'm going to be using today is actually my bamboo steamer that I'm going to use today. I'm putting it over a wok just because it fits nice and perfectly to strain out the excess water. And then I have my cheesecloth here um, over it so I can strain the actual curds onto it. Um, but if you guys don't have a bamboo steamer, you can also use any colander um, or strainer that you have that has a nice wide opening so you can actually pour the tofu and have a nice block or round, whatever you guys like. You can also buy a tofu press online as well. I don't usually have it just because I don't make fresh tofu that often, so I don't find it necessary in my kitchen. So anything that really has a strainer on the bottom to strain out any excess liquid, I'll use it up as my tofu press basically. <laughs> so yes, today I'll be using my bamboo steamer today as my tofu strainer. Um, go ahead and place your cheesecloth over this. And then I'm going to go ahead and slowly pour the curds over this. Now this bamboo steamer won't fit all of the curds, so I'm gonna do this into two separate batches. So I'll use my other bamboo steamer as well to do another batch of tofu. At this point, I overfilled it just because since we're gonna press it, it's gonna get um, a lot smaller because you're gonna draw out most of the water. So at this point here, I'm gonna use, go ahead and cover this up with the cheesecloth here. And we're gonna put some weights on it to allow the excess liquid to actually um, seep out and draw out. So before I put weights on it, I'm gonna take this out just a little bit, transfer it into a different bowl, because I'm gonna strain out the liquid here. And this liquid here is actually drinkable. If you like it, you can drink it. It's kind of like an acquired taste if you do like drinking this liquid. But I'm gonna strain this out, and then we'll put the tofu back on and put press on it, and then we'll press the tofu. Okay, I strain most of that liquid. Let's place this back on here. And then I'm gonna use a plate to put on top. Anything that can fit, um, nice rounded fit on the top here to flatten it out. And I'm gonna put some weights on it to press out the excess water. So anything heavy, just place it on the top to put some weights on it. I'm just using cans of soup today. I'm gonna need one more here. All right, we'll let this sit for a good 10 minutes or so, and then we'll come back to see how the texture is, and then we'll continue on with that. Okay, so this has been pressing for a good 30 minutes, and you guys can come feel it. It's nice and firm, then it's good. It's really up to you how, you, how firm you wanna do your tofu. The longer you put the weight on it, the firmer the tofu is gonna get. The shorter amount of time you put the weight on it the less firm it's gonna get so again if you guys want firm tofu leave it longer if you guys want soft tofu to medium tofu you know leave it less but yeah you see how we put so much in there and then we condense it down it's like practically half its size again now so we'll take this out and then we'll cut it into pieces and then you guys can cook it however you guys like unwrap it And got tofu. Kind of cool. All right, so I finished the tofu and cut it into pieces. Um, I wanted to show you guys, just cut it into chunks really. But this is what it looks like, pretty firm for the tofu. And yeah, it works pretty well with lemon juice. I mean, you can cut it to whatever shape or size you guys like, depending on what you're gonna cook it in. But today I'm just gonna cut it into cubes and I'll put it into like chicken soup with medicinal herbs or I'll just stir fry it, pan fry it, you know, whatever you guys like to do with tofu. 
pretty nice. You guys can keep this in the fridge for up to three days. Um, just make sure you use it up. It has a hint of sourness to it, but not so sour. Nice and fresh. And then here, I have little blocks here that I did. I cut up into bigger chunks here. You guys can see. Nice and firm. So this, I'm going to deep fry it and I'm going to put it in spring rolls and I'll show you guys how to do that in my next video. So stay tuned.